On Sunday's Media Buzz, I spent a little time talking about my Fox colleague, Juan Williams, who wrote a piece for The Hill about his cell phone being bombarded with angry and nasty messages calling him a sellout, uh, incompetent, uh, an alcoholic, uh, the token black at Fox. I mean, really ugly stuff. Why? Because his name popped up, his email popped up in one of the WikiLeaks dumps, and he had actually written a note to Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. I'll come back to that, but let's go to the email now. Peter S. in Mississippi says the following. Howie, I always watch your show. I like your input on other shows. I am not anti-Howie. Good start, Peter. Sometimes I agree with you, sometimes I don't, so I guess you're doing your job. This morning, though, in the segment at the end of the show regarding Juan Williams, you said, paraphrased, anyone who does not understand that does not understand journalism. Howie, as this election has shown, educated, quote, journalists do not understand journalism. As you know, a journalist's job is to report the news, not take sides or pontificate. When ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN do not report big stories, which are reported on Fox, and sometimes well after the fact, when the story grows big, then they start reporting on it, then I think it's safe to say there is no longer any criteria that defines a journalist. A journalist is now someone with a platform, report the facts, let us decide what they mean. Sounds like a Fox slogan. Well, Peter, thanks for uh, watching and for the kind words, and I don't expect everybody to agree with me on everything. Uh, but I think you're conflating two things here. I mean, yes, journalism, uh, the, that, as we know it, is about reporting. And there's been a lot of criticism, and a lot of it has come from me, about whether that the reporting on this election has been just incredibly unbalanced against Donald Trump, and therefore, by default, in favor of Hillary Clinton. I think there just hasn't been anywhere near as much reporting on Hillary Clinton, whereas Trump has had the kitchen sink thrown at him. And as you know, some journalists and media critics say, well, Trump is such a different candidate, such a dangerous candidate, that we should apply a different standard to him. I completely and totally reject that. But the Juan Williams situation is completely different. First of all, Juan Williams is a commentator. He's a commentator who mostly leans to the liberal side, obviously, and he has paid for his opinions. He's been a reporter. He was a reporter at the Washington Post for years. And the reason I said the, the critics don't understand journalism is it didn't even have anything to do with something that Juan said on the air. In this email to Clinton campaign chief John Podesta, he said, after bumping into him, um, you know, I'm paraphrasing here, good to see you. Uh, I'd love to find out when you get back from your trip if we can get together. So in other words, Juan Williams, who was a commentator, but commentators are also journalists, was trying to have a conversation with the guy who was running the campaign for the likely Democratic presidential nominee. Now, maybe some of you think that commentators shouldn't even talk to campaign officials. I talk to campaign officials all the time. It's part of my job on both sides. Now, sometimes some campaigns are more forthcoming than others. But there's nothing wrong with Juan wanting to know what he's talking about, getting uh, the take, maybe the spin, of John Podesta or... Kellyanne Conway for the Trump folks or, or anybody else. That's how you do informed commentary. And, you know, the idea that uh, this was some embarrassing email, it wasn't. And yet it brought all this abuse from, I guess, people who think that nobody uh, should even talk to the Clinton campaign. That's not how it works. Uh, so I'm going to defend that without defending all of the lopsided reporting we have seen in this 2016 race.